It's that time again. Welcome back, folks. Hope you're having a great week. This video is all about you. We are going to be featuring the videos that were sent to me as part of the RBP and Friends 2023 edition. There was only one challenge. I received so many videos that I actually have to split this into two separate videos. This video is part one of two. Yes, the saga of RBP and Friends. I got all kinds of videos, layouts of all shapes and sizes and scales, TikTok inspired videos, train crashes. <laughs> that was pretty funny. This train crash was pretty epic. People sent me photos. Of course, I got to show this Katie one. And I even got a video from our friend Jared, who got to blow the whistle on the Norfolk and Western 611. I hope you all enjoy seeing all of these layouts as much as I did. And remember, if you do not see your video in this one, stay tuned for part two. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. First up, we have the father-son duo who call their layout the Second Hand Overland. Check them out on YouTube. They have a phenomenal channel called Datified. I'm a little jealous of their production techniques. I need to take some notes. <laughs> Welcome to the Second Hand Overland. <laughs> My son and I love to visit a big friend of ours that greets people coming into our city. This is Big Boy 4023, and it's an awesome sight to behold. So when we got started with O-Gage Trains earlier this year, I thought it would be fitting to focus our railway on that big steam era so I could tie in some local Union Pacific history. And while searching for inspiration online, a fun spiky-haired guy surrounded by big trains came up, and now we refer to him as... Our friend Chris! Our friend Chris! <laughs> our roster of Union Pacific engines are all semi-scale Lion Chief and Lion Master. Since they can handle tighter turns, that gave us flexibility for finding a place in our home to build a layout. And it's also helped us keep this hobby from burning too big of a hole in my wallet. Because these are all pre-loved, that also means most of these need cleaning, repairing, and some care. And that provides moments for us to learn and appreciate these too. The second hand overland started on carpet, but when I heard Big Boy 4014 was scheduled for an excursion run to our home city, that kicked our plans into high gear. To keep my wonderful marriage intact, our basement railroad empire takeover had to still be a space we could use. So I moved the TV to a wall mount, built a train table around our sectional couch, and it's pretty comfortable. It's a bit of a lounge palooza layout. <laughs> This is just the tip of the iceberg for this project, so it's still definitely in progress, but the main construction of the table is complete, and now we can focus on adding other elements to it and learning how to build those elements as we go. This hobby has been so fun to get into together with my son. From history to layout planning to construction and wiring, there's been a lot to learn, but it's all been rewarding, especially when we get to sit back, relax, and enjoy what we've made together so far. I also enjoy documenting all of this on my Datified YouTube channel, so check that out if you'd like to see more of what we're up to. We couldn't have done this without all the three row fans out there that have been so supportive and inspired our future plans with this. Thank you to everyone in this wonderful community. <laughs> Next up is my good friend Michael, who goes by the name RailChief74 on YouTube. Michael is another avid collector of vintage trains. This is a lot of fun. Hey guys, Mike here, AKA Real Chief 74 speaking. I just wanted to give a very special thank you and a shout out to Chris over at RBP for letting me share this video with you all. I'm the kind of guy that likes to run mostly a lot of post-war traditional and modern era Lionel equipment, but also not limited to other companies such as MTH, Rail King, K-Line, Williams, and Marks. 
Here at Rail Chief 74, we always like to make the best of everything. I like to do running sessions, tutorials, live streams, restorations, and so much more. And oh yes, my dog Ozzy here likes to cameo in my videos too. Me and Ozzy really have a great time running trains together, but we even have more fun when we got more people involved in the hobby. So make sure to come join us for an exciting time in model railroading fun. Thanks again, and you guys are the best. Our next video comes to us from my friend Peter, who I met on Discord, and he goes by the name Dead Rail Trains. This layout is a little bit different. You want to see what I mean? Keep watching. Hi Chris, this is Peter at Dead Rail Trains. You could be the first YouTuber to feature my layout. Here it is right behind me. But let me give you a better view. <laughs> My friend Larkin, who's in this next video, was the first person on the internet to create a public meme of me. Thanks a lot, Larkin. But hey, no hard feelings. I'll show your layout anyway, my friend. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Larkin. I am from the channel Trains of Lark, and this is my layout. This is my six by 12 foot layout. I've been working on this for about 10 months now and hopefully you enjoy it. Some of us build train layouts in our basements, others in attics, or wherever we can find the space. But how many of us can say that we have a train station built in our backyard to hold our collection? Well, check out my friend Luke's collection, which is housed in a custom-built train station in his backyard. Who, who has that? Amazing. Thanks for sharing, Luke. My friend Bob sent us this next video where he showcases his amazing collection featuring the famous 1950 Lionel 773 Hudson. Very jealous of that one. Nice, Bob. To wrap it all up, he finishes his segment with a nice dad joke, which as a fellow father, I can relate. Thanks, Bob. I'm Bob, and welcome to my layout. Here's where it all began, a Lionel 675 set from 1947 that became a permanent part of my family's Christmases. For most of the year, it was kept in its boxes and brought out to go on the Christmas train board. Unboxing it for this video brought back a flood of memories. A lot of my collection consists of post-war steam engines from 1947 to 1953, not the least of which is the holy grail of those years, the Lionel 773 Hudson from 1950. Another star of this period is the 736 Berkshire, The Pennsylvania Railroad is well represented in modern production by the MTH M1 and one of the most striking steam engines ever built, the MTH version of the T1. And what layout would be complete without the duck under bridge? Three ducks actually. I don't have any subway sets in my collection, 
But after seeing this video from my friend Corey, I'm thinking I should get one for the sound effects alone. Hey, how you doing guys? My name is Corey on YouTube. I'm known as Legend Driver C. On TikTok, I'm known as Corey T1976. And this is my submission for the RBP and Friends YouTube video. Uh, I've been in the hobby for a little over two years now. I started out running my trains on the floor and now I have a whole room that I'm doing the layout in. It's 10 by 10, I'm still working on it. It's a work in progress. I really love subway trains. I have other trains, but subways are the ones I love the most. In this video, you'll see two of my favorite trains. The first one, the green one, is the R1 A train set. And then the second one, is the R40 slant A train set. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope this video makes it to the final cut. Thank you. Next stop, 59th Street, Columbus Circle. This next layout really caught my eye and comes to us from our friend Doris. This layout was started a year and a half ago from the date of this video. And Doris says that this was actually inspired from the channel RJ's Trains. RJ's a good friend of mine, check out his channel. I really like the composition and colors of this layout and the use of these Union Pacific heritage schemes. I'm also partial to the Katie, which of course is running in this video. Thank you Doris for sending in this amazing looking layout. This next layout, or layouts I should say, because there's two of them, come to us from our friend Michael of the Allegheny Crossing. Hey guys, my name's Michael, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel I call the Allegheny Crossing. I also want to say a big thank you to Chris at RBP Trains for highlighting us this year on his compilation video. It's quite an honor to be on this, so thank you, Chris. Today I'm going to be showing you two layouts that I have. My main layout behind me uh, was started in 2019, um, this is uh, going to be my permanent layout in my train room here, um, and it's a work in progress. It's far from completed, but uh, I work on it when I have time. It features a uh, double mainline uh, bottom level with a yard um, where I can switch both engines and store cars and switch cars and trains. And then the upper level is going to be um, kind of a town scene, um, and I'm going to have some elevated tracks going up and down from the lower level to the upper level. Uh, this layout uh, features conventional running as well as full DCS and uh, Lionel Legacy and TMCC. So I can run pretty much anything uh, I want on this layout. The second layout that I have is just a smaller 4x8 uh, Christmas themed layout and it is conventional only. So I'll be showing you both of these today and some of the trains running that I have. So hope you enjoy.
just can't beat a cozy Christmas layout. Speaking of layouts that are under construction, my friend Sam has shared this next layout. This layout is gonna be huge. Well, hey there folks with RBP and Friends. My name is Sam, also known as Sam's Trains on YouTube. And this is my O-Scale layout. This layout spans 34 feet across and 14 feet deep. The two main sections of this layout are right here where there's gonna be a town. And then over here where there's the main yard. My railroad is being modeled very loosely after the Norfolk Southern CNO and TP main line that runs from Chattanooga to Cincinnati, Ohio. Over here, there's going to be a big mountain across the back wall, hiding all those tracks in the back, right in front of this yard, very similar to what is in Emory Gap, where there's a yard in the front with a double track main line that runs through it, and mountains in the background. Now one of my personal favorite features about my layout is that there's a cutout here in the middle where I can stand over here, and now I can see my train layout almost 270 degrees which is better than just being able to stand on the front of the table and look into it. You really feel like you're immersed in the trains. This is the Lionel Vision Line GE Evolution 2010 ES44. Let's go ahead and run that. GE 2010, do you read me? Acknowledge, 2010 here. Starter up and standby. Acknowledge, starting up the engine. Out. Next up is another father-son duo, with the star of the show being young Kellen. You can see Kellen on the YouTube channel, Kellen's Trains, and he wanted to share a very special engine that he recently got. Model Trains has a way of connecting families, of bringing us together and invoking memories. And this next video is from Caden, who started this layout with his father and continues to work on it even after his father's passing. Caden, thanks for sharing your story with all of us here. Hello and welcome to the Northwestern Central Railway. I am the owner and CEO of this railroad and this is my train layout. Thank you to Chris from RBP Trains for putting on another video series so I can broadcast this layout to you all. So this is something me and my dad were working on for three years, but sadly he passed away, and now this is my dream to finish the layout. Obviously it's not done yet, there's a lot of dirty stuff and painting to do, but yeah. So this is it. Thank you for Chris and uh, my YouTube channel is Northwestern Central Railroad on YouTube. Thank you very much. This video wouldn't be complete without a big train montage. Look at all of these other submissions that I received. Lots of great stuff.
services that we uh, got off the site as a trade proposal. So, yeah, I mean, give us a chance and good luck. Are we still clear all the way? I hope you enjoyed part one of the 2023 RBP and Friends edition. Stay tuned for part two, coming to you soon. You sound like the cha-cha slide. <laughs> I, do, I don't know. As always, a huge thank you to all of my subscribers and everyone who's been supporting this channel. My name is Chris, and this is RBP Trains. We'll see you for part two. <laughs>